Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Video Ramonda for SEC. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look of how we can create this nice image. And uh, as you can see, we're going to be using some Google images and uh, some shapes in Photoshop to be able to get this nice looking funnel image. So let's go ahead and um, first get uh, take a look of the images that we're going to be using in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead on um, on Bridge and I'm going to show you the pictures that we're going to be using. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, when Bridge and I'm going to toggle down here to about where is it? About here. These are the images that we're going to be using. The stars woods two, two different kind of woods and that what that what we're gonna be using and um, uh, that's it that's all you need for this project uh, okay and if you want to load these pictures in Photoshop like this so they can be on the same Photoshop layers without having many of these bars floating on top of here what you can do in bridge is you can go ahead and click on tools Photoshop and load files into Photoshop layers. When you, once you click, ah, uh, sorry, once you click that, it will go ahead and load Photoshop files. All right. So let's get started. We got no time. We got 15 minutes, and I'm gonna go through everything. And I prefer you watch my preview videos, the last video that I made, and uh, and you be good. You be understanding how this was done. Otherwise, I'm gonna be going a little faster because I have no much time to finish this whole thing in 15 minutes so yeah let's get started we can go ahead and click on file new then we can set the width to 12 uh, 1200 and the height 500 okay now we're gonna go ahead and double click on this and we can bring that thing name this bg layer then uh, let's go ahead and um, Go ahead and click on this. Set, make sure it's black and white. Set it yeah, when when it's here. Set it to the radio, which is this one, radio gradient. Then hit, uh, click in the middle, hold on the keyboard, drag it to the left. No, I mean right. Then release the mouse. Um, then you get this nice background looking. All right, let's go ahead and go on the ellipse tool. So once you, it's uh, like down here, hold on, right here on the rectangle marquee tool. Then you get these uh, options. Then you're gonna choose the ellipse tool. You can hit U a couple times, and you can get the ellipse tool. Then drag, uh, make a new, uh, make a new layer by uh, clicking this little button down here, or we can do that by shortcut, Control Shift 10, and that should bring up this new layer dialog. And then you can type in name of the layer, and you can type in uh, Moon because you're going to make a moon. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, hold on shift and uh, drag our lip tool, then hold on space to position it. Then let's say we want it about to be this big and hold on space and then uh, to be about here. And then uh, release the mouse first, then shift key after. Then now we can go ahead and go on um, this tool here, which is a um, rectangle marquee tool. Now you can hit M a couple times, hit M twice, one, two, then you can get uh, the ellipse tool, el uh, ellip which we need to be using right now. So elliptical marquee tool, use that, then uh, hold on shift tool, then just drag it, hold on space to position it. Let's say we want it to be about this big. Then now we're going to hit the delete key on your keyboard. Uh, and then hit the delete key, then you get this moon effect, which I don't like. Control Z, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, position about here. So let's go ahead and uh, Control D to deselect, get the ellipse tool again, hold on Shift, then uh, go ahead and position it, drag it, so get a smooth circle. Then I want it to be about that. Hit the delete key, and that's what we want. Control 
Ctrl D to deselect, Command D on the Mac, and uh, Ctrl T, Command T to bring this uh, free uh, transform tool. Then go ahead and position it, uh, make uh, a rotation to about to minus 92.8 degrees, and hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Uh, yeah, and then on a Mac it's return key so enter then it should give you this nice looking uh, moon double click on the moon layer go on bevel and emboss now we're going to put this to 5 leave it as, as, as this now go to softness to about 2 and we're not finished yet so don't hit enter and go set this one to about here so we get this nice um, kind of bevel uh, popping up on the end of here and the inside and the end of the moon. Hit OK and that's what we want. Now go ahead and create a new layer. Control Shift N and uh, go ahead and name it. We can name this uh, we can name it flat and noise or we can just name it clouds maybe I don't know let's see uh, color uh, I think so eh? I don't know it doesn't matter the way you name them you can name it whatever you want go on filter blender clouds now we have the clouds up here we need to go ahead and double click on it and click on the gradient over there now you need to get the colors that we want so now as you can see it's only black and white which means this cloud does not work with this black and white thing so you can go ahead and choose some colors let's say uh, we're going to choose sort of a, uh, let's see I'm going to choose a different color from now let's see maybe that one or let's see uh, yeah. uh, I don't know which one to choose but uh, I'm sure this will looks, looks nice uh, actually say to this one it doesn't matter you can go ahead and play with it then uh, play with the uh, brand mode and you come up with a nice looking effect for example like this is a nice looking effect or this one we can go ahead and use that one so once you got this effect you can go ahead and play with it you can uh, use some uh, tools in here and uh, twist it around maybe let's do a little bit of twisting double uh, control T click on the uh, warp tool then just go ahead and do some little bit of tweaking up here and uh, let's get it to be so all the colors to come in right over here so the moon it's in here so it's like that and hit return enter key on the window and uh, what we're gonna do hold on alt and then that's option on the mark and uh, bring your mouse, bring your mouse cursor of here to the between between uh, the moon layer and the color. Hit. I want to see this uh, changing uh, sign. As you can see, we have a kind of hand pointing. But when you hold on Alt, we change it to this sign. Once you see this sign, click on uh, over there. Then you get this effect. So click on uh, hit on V on a keyboard or just click on this tool over here which is a move tool that allows you to move the the uh, the layer that is in there as you can see we have a nice looking effect over here and uh, I like it the way it is and that's how we can leave it and uh, other thing that we're gonna add control shift N it's command shift N on the Mac and we're gonna add some uh, we're gonna add some we can name this brush one because we can be use some brushes here and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit on the brush tool set this to about five and go on the brush uh, brush uh, setting options click on that once you click on that okay we know we need to go ahead on brush tape share on the spacing take it over all the way to about 194 and this one to about 31 and that's a good setting now we can take the paint tool we're gonna actually no we won't need the paint tool this at uh, this one 
we're gonna just go ahead and uh, brush around here the moon just like that and as you can see we have that nice looking effect double click on it we can add a gradient overlay and uh, we can put it in a different color maybe let's say this kind of color and control T right click uh, wrap to go ahead and position it the way we want it to be position, uh, positioned and uh, yeah and uh, I think this video may have to be in two parts I don't know it depends because um, you see my time of here you have 10 minutes already so let's go ahead and that's it we're gonna hold an alt and click between the color and the brush one so now we take the brush inside the moon so we won't see any brushes outside the moon now I think we are almost done creating our moon and um, I'm gonna have another tutorial because I think I'm gonna have to have uh, the second tutorial because I won't make it through the whole thing we have, um, we have only four minutes left so I'm gonna create another tutorial of how to create the sky alright now we have a nice nice path by using the pen tool now what we're gonna do is we can click a new layer on this new icon to make a new layer double click on the, on the layer name change this to the B tool we have, we have time to name these things and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some uh, sprocker around the moon so wait I'm just gonna pause so yeah and now let's go ahead and click on the brush tool set this to about 3 and uh, go ahead and hit on this brush spacing to about really about 476 and uh, here let's go ahead and add a little bit spectacular and uh, counters and just put it up like that comes and alright space it up make sure I give it a little bit of space on this about there and add a little bit of smoothness which is here and other dynamics which add a little bit smooth smoothing inside the and also make sure it's on three so don't change it by mistake over here I know you can go ahead and click size I mean here and change the size by mistake so let's go ahead and do this do this again okay actually this is sizing the brush Set it to about one pixels. Yeah, one pixel should do. And yeah. All right, now get this tool. Right click, mm, stroke path, and hit OK. And you should have this nice uh, rounding thing, that uh, rounding path going over the moon. Now click on the path button of here. Click away. Then we're gonna click on the layer again. We're gonna take the mouse and just bring it in a little bit like that. And uh, what you can do, let me see my time, I have 13. What you can do, you can go ahead and play with the brush until you come up with this nice effect of here. Rounding line effect, I think you can do that. Yeah, so. And that's how you can create a moon in Photoshop, create the whole thing. So then now I'm going to name this tutorial how to create a moon because I can't go through time all the way to through and then uh, create this whole, whole thing. So I'm going to have to give it a different title. So be sure to check out these other videos. And I want to say thanks for uh, for watching this video tutorial and I hope you learned something from it even though I was a little bit quick and uh, maybe I didn't make any sense at all but I'm sure you've learned something from it and I hope you'll be able to catch on on the other videos to coming soon and thanks for watching and this is Oshiri saying goodbye.